welcome to the another session in the first session we discussed about the motion and its related terms and in this session we are going to discuss about the terms distance and displacement so what do you mean by distance you are easily says that it is the path but in science it is different if you observe in this picture here a man is going to reach the other man in this direction and in science we say that it is the distance the direction who which is following by this direction is called distance and the same person is trying to reach the another person in a specified direction here and this is called displacement now you can easily understand that the path which takes longest way longest longest way is called distance and the path which is shortest one is called displacement so if you see another picture you get clear idea so in this picture also a car is moving from starting point to the ending point in this direction and one person is also moving from starting point to the ending point in this direction so both the directions here see so this is the longest path and this is the shortest path so the longest path is called the distance and the shortest path is called the displacement okay students so note down the definition of the distance and displacement okay so distance length of the path traversed by an object okay and it has units also what are the units i will write on the board units okay in si system unit is meter and in cgl system means centimeter gram second it it, it say it is in centimeter okay students okay and displacement so displacement means the shortest path or distance the shortest distance in a specified direction what is that specified direction see here for displacement it is having a specified direction and in this picture also it is showing the specified direction but the distance doesn't have the direction okay so displacement has a specified direction so it is also having units for so same units are there for this one also okay as a system meters in cgl system centi meter so make a note on this one
Okay. Now, it is, now it is, I am saying the distance is a scalar quantity. Here, in keywords, scalar vector terms are there. So, here it is coming. So, distance is a scalar quantity. Displacement is a vector quantity. So, what is the scalar and vector quantities? I am explaining you. Shall I? So, scalar quantity is the quantity which requires only magnitude but not direction. Scalar quantity means the physical quantity which requires only magnitude only magnitude what do you mean by magnitude simply value okay now example distance display sorry density Velocity, force, weight, etc. These are some examples for vector quantities. Please make a note in your notebook. Okay, now I am showing you one picture. See here? Here A is starting to reach B and the distance is 4 meters. And from B it is going to move from C and is it is in 3 meters. Okay, from C to A it is in 5 meters. So total distance this boy is traveled is 4 meters plus 3 meters plus 5 meters. Total how much? 12 meters. But displacement directly it reaches to the A to C. And the displacement is 5 meters. Okay. So here the distance calculate the whole the distance which is reaching Continuously here. Means longest path. 
but the displacement is in specified direction from A to C. So, if you see another example here. A. From starting point, the, the boy is starting from A and reaching B. Distance is 3 meters. And the same boy reaching C with the distance 5 meters. From C to D, 3 meters. From D to A, 5 meters. So, here distance is calculated by C, 3 plus 5. How much? 8. 8 plus 3? 11. 11 plus 5? 16 meters. And what about displacement? D is 0. Why? Because here the starting position is and is equal to the ending position. Where the boy started here A and reaching around the box and reaching the same point at A only. So the starting and ending positions are same here. So the displacement is 0. So when the distance and displacement are equal. See if a body is starting in a straight motion in a translatory motion then here distance and displacement must be equal sorry. displacement must be equal keep a note in this point also so when the distance or displacement equal when a body is traveling in a straight direction at that time, distance and displacement are equal. Okay, students? Okay. Thank you. Now, I am going to give you worksheets to do at your homes. In these topics only, please do worksheets. Thank you.